workbook one, session six. You've made it to the end of the first workbook. Well done. I'm sure you've done fantastically and I can't wait to see your results. Once you've completed all of the work in this workbook and uploaded it to Dropbox for me to do your assessment, you can take a little breather before starting workbook two. So in this task, you're going to need to develop either the sausage roll or the Cornish pasty recipe. Now, whichever recipe you choose to focus on, you should look at it as an opportunity to apply all your knowledge and skills that you've built up over the first term and really showcase your best work to me. I'm also going to be helping you with evaluating the whole process. So everything you've done up to this point. And then finally, we're going to look at the tools and equipment task in your workbook. So let's get started. So let's take a look at what you could write in your self-evaluation. It's so important to regularly stop and do these self-reviews so you can see how you're progressing and what you need to do to get even better. Time management. How well did you effectively manage your time during the practical sessions? How well did you work independently? Were you able to work by yourself or did you need a little bit more support and guidance at home? Think back to the knife safety rules. How well did you follow these? How confident are you getting with using the knives now? If you used it, how successful was the rubbing in technique for you? Overall safe working. Did you have any accidents or was your entire kitchen experience very safe? Hygiene working. Did you follow all of the hygiene rules that you learned about at the beginning of the course? How well did you clean down after? When completing the taste test, don't forget to talk about the various different issues, presentation and appearance of your dish, how it actually tastes, the texture of the food and the smell of the food. When you come to completing the tools and equipment task of your workbook, you'll need to first identify the equipment shown in the pictures and then explain how they're used. If you're struggling with this task, think back or even look back at the recipes from this term. The equipment will be listed in the recipes and it should prompt you with how you used it during the recipe. You could even touch upon how you used each piece of equipment safely if you wanted to extend your answers. You should now have everything you need to complete session 6 of workbook 1 and submit the entire workbook to Dropbox for assessment. Well done, you've done it.